In this video, I'm following an article I saw on engraved.blog. And I'm basically telling ChatGPT to behave as a Linux terminal and to only process things that I say as Linux commands unless I put it in curly brackets. Then it will interpret that as regular text and answer me with what I'm asking for. So you can see my first command was pwd and it gave me my home slash user directory. Now I'm going to do an ls to see what's in my user directory. And you can see some standard folders there that you would see in your Linux file system. So next I'm going to change directory into this folder. And I'm going to tell ChatGPT to create me a file called jokes.txt and to put some jokes into the actual file. And you can see that I'm putting it inside of the curly brackets so that it will interpret it as a natural language question. And you'll see now that it's doing a touch command for jokes.txt and then it's doing echo lines for each of the jokes that it's creating. And once it's finished, I'm going to then ask it to do an LS of my directory now. So it's going back and showing the directories it showed before, but now you notice there's a jokes.txt file there. So I'm going to do cat space jokes.txt. And you'll see that it's now going to print the file out as it would within a Linux terminal. Next, I'm going to tell it to remove the file or delete it by doing rm space jokes.txt. I'll then do an ls to see if the file is there or if it's been deleted. And you'll see that it brings back my directories again and the file has been deleted. So next I'll run the host name command to see what kind of information it gives me back about this Linux virtual machine, which it really isn't. It's a virtual, virtual machine inside of a chat engine. But you can see that it's giving me back some definite information here, even the architecture that it's built on. So next I decided let's try to ping a website. So I'm just going to do ping nbc.com and my quote unquote system is coming back with responses from nbc.com. Now let's see if we can actually use links, which was an older text-based web browsing application to browse the content of an actual website. So in this case, I'll use deepmind.com slash about, and I'll issue that command. And you'll see that it is now going out and pulling back the information for the DeepMind about us page. In this test, we were actually seeing whether or not the chatbot was able to be aware of its own existence. So we're actually doing a curl command and then the URL of ChatGPT itself. And you can see that it's coming back with information about itself. In this case, this is the HTML that serves up the link that we put in the command. And finally, let's post some JSON to the endpoint of the chat bot and ask it a question. Now, in this case, I asked for the content type to be JSON and it is not returning it back in JSON. It's doing it with the HTML. So it doesn't look like it interpreted my curl command correctly, but what I'm able to do is at the end, so you can see here, it's putting my question, what is artificial intelligence? And then it's coming back with the response, but it's doing it in HTML format. So because I wanted it in JSON format, what I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT 
to actually reformat this response in JSON format. And I'm going to put that inside of curly brackets because it's a natural language question. And you can see it is now responding with the question and answer in JSON format. Unbelievable.